Beijing. Hm, Moskau. Gen Langar. Tiondian. When you mention Moscow to people in Beijing, they think of more than just the capital of Russia. They would also think of a restaurant known as Lao Mo. 就是奔这个老莫名来的。我以为就是个人名儿。<laughs> Situated next to the Beijing Exhibition Center, La Mo is actually called the Moscow Restaurant. It opened in October 1954. 上世纪啊，老北京来讲呢，其实没有不知道五座餐厅的。老莫餐厅见证了几代北京人人生的美好时光。第一次来是女儿带我来过生日，那时六十五岁。像妈妈他们那一辈，就是年轻时候，他们对于国家之间友情的这种深刻的记忆，所以现在就传承到我这儿。现在宝宝这不是带着也来吃饭了。我叫伊朗，一个在中国生活了快二十年的新女儿，在这里我找到了幸福。我我觉得。莫斯科、河北京两座城市跟两个兄弟一样，中国人也是非常喜欢愉快的曲子，俄罗斯人也是一样。啊，我也是有时候唱中国的老歌，呃，《金刚之夜》。金刚之夜，静悄悄，深深的，热爱着这个国家。Beijing and Moscow established their sister city relationship in 1995. Despite being thousands of miles apart and having significant cultural differences, Beijing and Moscow share many similarities. The Forbidden City and the Kremlin are both central to their respective cities, surrounded by rings of roads and extensive subway train networks. These subway lines are vivid symbols of the friendship between the two cities. Back in the 1950s, experts from Moscow traveled all the way to Beijing to assist in the early construction of the Beijing subway. Beijing subway is more high technological. Like mm -hmm. You can use your hand to open the door to enter mm -hmm. the subway. Moscow station, I think, not that high tech, but it looks very classical. The connection between the Beijing subway and Moscow runs deep. To show their gratitude for the Chinese team's work, the Mitransky Prospect Station was designed with elements of Chinese culture. From official meetings to people-to-people -people exchanges, the friendship between Beijing and Moscow is evident everywhere. In 1957, the Moscow Zoo welcomed Pingping, a giant panda from Beijing, marking the first time since China's national treasure traveled abroad. Today, Moscow stands out as one of Beijing's most engaging and productive sister cities. We are happy to observe and acknowledge that there's more and more of these young peers who come to, who are interested to travel to Moscow and to travel to Russia. We want to continue and to raise this interest and we are actively present in different social networks in China. Weibo, Xiaohongshu, Douyin we pay special attention to all Chinese travelers. I stayed in Beijing for five years, and my experience in China was amazing in terms of, you know, diving into the Chinese culture, understanding how the country developed it. I also feeling myself as a kind of a small Beijinger that now came back to Russia as this bridge maker between our countries, between Moscow and Beijing. Language holds the key to understanding a city and a country. In Moscow, more and more people are learning Chinese, injecting fresh energy into the relationship between the two cities. A lot of people, Russian young people, start learning uh, Chinese to come to China to study here. Then another reason is like I think connected with the business because uh, Chinese e-commerce is really developed. 
some young Russian people are very interested in online trends on Chinese internet. I think most Chinese people think that Russian people think of China as Kung Fu and a great wall. But if we talk about uh, young Russian people who just start studying Chinese language, they're mostly interested in uh, modern Chinese life and lives of uh, young uh, Chinese people. Like maybe some internet trends, TikTok, the movies, Wang Luo Xiaoshuo. And some people even translate those videos to Russian language. So, the past 10 years, the number of people learning the Chinese language in Russia has increased in a number of times. I think it's more than 7 times more people learning the Chinese language. The Chinese language is the most important. Ну, наверное, стоит еще остановиться, когда мы общались с родителями тех детей, которые пришли к нам э, учиться в школу российских, что их побуждает так активно изучать китайский язык. Но они считают, что это перспективно в плане туризма, в плане экономики, то есть большое количество предприятий, которые появляются в России. This year marks the 75th anniversary of China-Russia diplomatic relations. In June, Beijing celebrated the Moscow Day. Two cities, two people, people, this cultural exchange is very important, and we hope that this two cities will be more In August, the Chinese military band made its debut on Moscow's Red Square bring traditional Chinese musical instruments to an enthusiastic audience. Beijing and Moscow, through many years of being sister cities, have achieved success in practical cooperation and cultural exchange. Looking ahead, we hope the two cities will work hand-in-hand in hand and creating more wonderful stories of friendship. <laughs>